Hey guys! So, 90 day novel challenge. Oh gosh. Ha! Just kidding! Hey guys, I am here with you for the first kind of weekly wrap up for my 90 day novel challenge. Um, I'm here to just kind of fill you in on where I am with this challenge, what's going on, how, how the writing's going, and all the different progress that I've made. So let's get started. So this week was week number one of my redo of the 90 day novel challenge. I decided that I was going to start over and write up a new contract and um, just kind of go through and re and decide what I was going to um, keep and what I was going to toss and just move forward. In my contract I decided that I was going to more or less kind of get rid of the 90, day, 90 Days to Your Novel by Sarah Domet. Not just kind of toss it completely because there's some really good work in that book. But I feel like for me and the way that my personality goes, it was a little bit too constricting. So what I ended up doing was I kind of adapted the whole 90 day idea. I kind of drew from it what I thought was really important. And then I kind of just made my own little plan. I wrote up a calendar. And in that calendar, I made sure that I just did things instead of daily, like the beginning of the challenge in the book, I did things weekly. So I picked a topic for a week and then I assigned that to each week and then, yeah, that's how I did it. So in this new challenge, I decided that um, every week is going to be something different, of course. Um, every Saturday is going to be kind of a assessment day where I look back on all the work that I've done for the week and kind of figure out where the where the novel is headed. And then every Sunday is going to be a decision making day. Put set in stone. This is what this is what I want to do. This is how I want to do it, and this is where it will take the story. Another change that I made in this 90 day challenge was that I put a lot of focus on scene writing because for me I get way way into the brainstorming and the you know writing down notes and I get so far into that and all the world building that the story just doesn't get written. So I made sure that this week I put heavy emphasis on writing scenes, making sure that even if I'm brainstorming, there's still going to be a scene, at least one scene written every single day. That, and it doesn't necessarily have to be used in the, fi the final product or even in the first draft or anything. It's just to keep myself writing so that I don't fall behind or just kind of lose my writing endurance and it also just kind of helps me think through things as time goes by. So with it being week number one I decided that this would be the week for kind of just brainstorming all of the different um, story ideas that I had in my head, all the different settings that I had in my head. So it's this week was more about brainstorming actual story ideas and settings. And boy oh boy do I have some news for you. So I started off the week with, I started off the week and the whole challenge with an idea for a story that I had floating around in my head from time to time um, involving like the afterlife and kind of this karmic debt that people kind of rack up as they go through life. And it's interesting because I sat down to work on this story idea, but I but I made, a, made it a point on day one to get every single story idea I had in my head at the time down on paper because I am known to have like four million different story ideas at one time. So day one was just getting all of that out and work writing down as many details as I could and then writing a scene from not only whatever story was kind of 
popular in my brain, but also another random story idea, just for the heck of it. So I ended up writing two scenes that day, and something very interesting happened that I didn't realize was going to be important until later on. So yesterday, I'm filming this on Sunday, I look back on every single exercise that I've done for the week and I realize this afterlife story is not what I am writing. <laughs> there was another story idea that I had that kind of just sneaked up on me and I found that I was more enthusiastic about it, I was more interested in it, and also it's a story that I am more comfortable and familiar with all of the characters written because this is a sequel to a story that I started to write in I'd say 2009. If you've watched my intro video it's the idea that I was talking about with the sisters and the voodoo. So if you are interested in any of the exercises that I did this week go ahead and comment below and ask about them or hop on over to my blog where I talk about them a little bit more. So closing up for this week of awesome writing. I got a total of six scenes done this week. Two of them are for the original story idea I had but you know what, it's not a waste of time or space because you never know when you're going to end up writing for that story later. I'm really pumped. I don't want to get too excited because that's what happened last time and then I just kind of... I am ecstatic because, like I said before, this is an idea or this is a story that I am... that I hold deep to my heart, that I've always known that I was going to go back to and finish and I'm very comfortable with the characters and I'm very comfortable with where I where I know the story is gonna go. So this week was all about just kind of figuring out what story I wanted to work on and where I wanted to take it. I would say that this was a successful week. I got a lot done and I feel very proud of myself for doing a whole week. Though yesterday I might have slacked off a little bit. Next week, or well, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be working on brainstorming characters. This week is going to be all about giving characters room to play. So I'm really looking forward to it. I hope if you are on this journey with me, you're looking forward to it. And um, look out for my blog posts because I will probably be saying a lot more about it on there than here or, or on my Twitter page. And... So yeah, I am stoked with this. Don't forget to leave comments below and let me know how your writing's going. And I think that's all I have for you today. So thanks for hanging in there with me as I get started again. Um, yeah, happy writing guys.